I'm Marjorie from there. I first want to honor everybody that is running for some kind of office. Uh, I, I know from Toastmasters a long time ago, I heard that public speaking is scarier than people thinking about the death. So for any of you that are coming up and speaking, I have a lot of dyslexic qualities. I've always been a little bit nervous about speaking out loud. But I think it's important that everybody speak for, for what they believe in. And I hope that you hear my heart more than you hear something that I made a mistake or pronounced it. I'm here because I think it's really important. We are an agricultural island. We should be so we have seven different climates here. And I hear our, my other components of voting for mayor that are talking about tourism being the first, uh, one of the first things to make money here. I think it's agriculture. And if we do something for agriculture, that the world will come and see what we're doing and go, wow, let's go to Big Island. What are they doing there? We passed a law four years ago. The law of law enforcement, peaceful fight, 53% more votes than our present mayor got. And the huge numbers, there was one dollar a vote, correct me if I'm wrong, for the $13 vote. So that means the people's choice, as Dominic calls it, the people's choice. I asked our mayor, previous mayor, Mary Kim, if he would honor our people's side, and he says it's very confusing. It's very confusing. And yet I heard him talk about other things of people's choice. Listen to what the people say. Well, the people have said that they want to have peaceful sky, zero helicopters. We put this in. People that didn't vote, never voted in their whole life, were, were strong enough to come four years ago, were proud that they voted, and now they feel like, I'm not going to vote again. You, you know, they didn't, they didn't keep to say what they're going to do. Let's prove them wrong. Let's tell other people about this, that we can have people thought. You know, it's not all about just smoking cannabis, marijuana, which I think is a negative word. You know, I love to juice it. I want I signed for forty percent. Well now I have to keep that the last two years. You know who my husband and wife is as a prison uh, prison a political prison. And I hope you really listen to um, what I have to say. You can go to our website, the last marijuana trial. Thank you. Thank you. 
Uh, you can't hear me in the back. Somebody just raise your hand, please. My name is Harry Kim. I was born and raised on this island. I think I'm older than most of you. I hope there's some older than me. This has been my home for 72 years. I was born in the forest of Ola, as we used to call it then. So 20 years of my life, for those of my age, this was coming to the water of electricity. Like Steve, but before me, to go away to college, I have a master's degree from South Arkham State University in Economics. I thought I was going to stay there. It didn't take long to realize how ways very special of people and of land. And I've been home ever since. So the only time I've been away from this home is during the military and during college. I consider, and I've said it many times, I consider Hawaii Island the most beautiful place in God's given earth. I consider the people of Hawaii the most beautiful people on God's given earth. As far as myself running, I wish there were easy magic answers to all of our problems. First of all, because there are hunters here, know that uh, I have a hard time killing anything. The largest animal that I've ever killed was a mongoose because they ate all the chickens. And beyond that, I did not kill anything. I'm not a vegetarian. I just get a hard time killing. But I'll eat other people's killing. That's something <laughs> critical, and so be it. As far as why Hawaii am I for mayor, I was your mayor for eight years. Before that, I was civil defense administrator for 24 years. Before that, your LEA, law enforcement assistant administrator, for six years. And before that, your teacher for four years. So public service on the island of Hawaii, and all of that the island of Hawaii, uh, 40 plus years has been on this island. As mayor, the major reason why I'm running is the part of Steve just said. I believe that you want a government that is of integrity. I believe that you want a government that is of trust. I believe you want a government and its leaders and all participants to work together and forget all the politics of during the election. And I hope, if you know my 40 years of work, I hope you know that is the way I work. Thank you very much. Personal 
use of marijuana in the world's market. Well, I got into this race because of that. Uh, I believe that the will of the people uh, is the threshold of being any leader. Why would you want to be the prosecutor? And why would you want to vote for them if they're not going to follow what you want? So once I got into this, I see which is I mean, occurring in the last 20 years because the state prosecutor, Gabe Kamura, has gone out of polls for 20 years. Uh, he has resigned from us, and you can uh, decipher why he resigned himself by easy Googling it. Uh, but uh, the fact is, though, that this prosecutor, Mr. Kamura, and all of his prosecutors, they lack one important ingredient, one important quality that a good prosecutor must have. And that is discernment. They lack discernment. And what I mean by that is all of the cases that they continue to file are just ridiculous. The hunting violations, the fishing violations, the marijuana cases. These cases are not filed correctly. Now, as your prosecutor, there's one thing, and I will wrap this up by saying that I believe in the law of the splinter pattern. And so you heard me in the background, and I am adamant about that this constitutional right of all people and the people of this island, that you have access to beaches, you have access to hunting areas, sacred grounds, artificial artifacts, and uh, places where you go to Pule, wherever you like. But these are accesses to beaches which are you are entitled to. And I plan on prosecuting the landowners for blocking those. Thank you very much. I hope you all have a nice day. State Senate District 2. District 2 is uh, a new district that's comprised of Puna and Pahala. It's the uh, State Senate District that does not have an incumbent in it. It's very exciting to me because it includes all of Puna for the first time. Um, but for those of you who don't know me, my main claim to fame is I'm the owner of Islands Naturals Market. We're a natural food store, a group of four natural food stores on the island. And we proudly employ over 150 people. I started the company myself, and I'm very proud of that fact because, as we all know, job creation is one of the challenges facing us. I think I have some specific ideas for job creation that can support Puna and Kau in the, in the realm of food production. I think we should be the breadbasket for the state. I think that if we develop food production here, that it brings jobs, permanent, long-lasting jobs that benefit the community. Uh, it reduces our dependence on imported food, which we all know we need. And it, thank you, and it uh, supports agriculture, which really is the incredible economic potential that we have in Pune and Kau is for agriculture, in my opinion. We have affordable land, we have sun and rain in the kind of proportions that most parts of the world would get anything for, and we've got an available workforce. I believe food production is a big part of our future. I'm concerned on sort of a nuts and bolts level that my district has been growing. It's the fastest growing district in the state. We've got the deadliest highway in the state. And we've got three of the four lowest performing public schools in the state in my district. And that reflects an extreme neglect of our districts uh, from the state legislature for, in my opinion, over 20 years. I believe that I can bring honest and effective representation from Puna and Kau at the state legislature. Um, besides the nuts and bolts things, I will propose uh, rule changes to the PUC that allow the utilities to maximize solar. First, I believe that solar energy being the safest and reliable source we have should be maximized first. And for those of you involved in the geothermal issue, I would like to say that there's, you're not going to have a candidate that's more involved in that issue than I am or more knowledgeable about it. I was on the front lines 25 years ago alongside Pelly Defense Fund. I was arrested twice fighting geothermal. And I don't oppose geothermal as a concept. I oppose what happened in Pune. And it will be my job to defend Pune 
from any more destruction of our neighborhoods. And if more geothermal is to happen, it should be close to demand, it should be far from residences, and it should be done with more modern, safer technologies. But as for Pune, we've already had our experience. We don't have any more neighborhoods to sacrifice in the fastest growing district in the state, and we have paid our dues. So I would oppose tooth and nail any further a geothermal plants in Pune or the undersea cable. Uh, I will be an accessible legislator. I've never been hard to find. I'm, I'm, I'm in this because I care about my community. I'm not in it for the money or the attention. And my goal is to bring in honest and effective representation to my district, which has been lacking for a long time. Thank you very much. Okay, if I tap your leg. Republican primary, and she has already announced that she and Ed Case are having a debate uh, after the primary is over. I think that is presumptuous. It's, a, it's I mean, presumptuous. It's insulting, and I hope that every one of you will remember that and go to www.carolforsenate.com. That's I have to say this in the beginning because I'll forget it at the end. Uh, um, okay. First of all, I know age is always going to be an issue in this kind of a race, so. Just remember that Akaka and Inoue are way, way older than I am, and I can promise you that uh, I will bring what I lack in age, in youth, and vigor to the office. So please don't fail to vote for me because I'm too young. Thank you. Um, okay. I, I, first of all, I'm not born and raised in Hawaii, and I always hate that. Every time everybody gets up, and they've all been born and raised here. I've lived in Lanakila housing, which is almost the same as being born and raised here. And I, <laughs> but I really love Hilo and love this island. It took me 40 years before I could get a property over here, and I do live in Honoka'a right now. Um, for those of you, there's a, a number of friends of mine here, guys that I've hunted with over the years that are, one of them is 92 years old. I thought he was my age, and I thought, oh. Anyway, so I'm, for my elders, uh, hi, so aloha. The, um, it's very important to me that we preserve the lifestyle that we have here, and I know that the groups here uh, that have sponsored this, and I thank every one of the members of those groups and the leadership for allowing me to come down tonight and to speak, so mahalo nui. The, um, the guys are doing a great job in getting people together. Uh, we, can, we can elect people that are going to do the things that you folks want to do. My record is very clear. If you go to the, the website, you'll see that I have been trying to get rid of the Jones Act since 1970. That's the shipping restrictions that have strangled our economy, that have caused us to have joblessness and homelessness. We can totally morph this economy into the most vibrant economy, as this young lady has, has said very eloquently, agriculture should be the number one business here. We also have the fiber optic hookups to do international finance here. We, there's a lot of non-polluting types of industries that can be brought if we have the technological expertise working with our government to get that done. I do that and I have people like that already on my staff. I guess my three minutes is just about up. Um, I would just ask you to consider telling every one of your friends, vote in the Republican primary, vote for John Carroll. I promise you I will be available to you both here and in Washington. I, I'm a retired pilot from Hawaiian Airlines, so I can come from New York to here free, and we'll do so frequently. Mahalo, mekealoha, pumehana. Thank you. 